years ago, in the wee hours of September 7th, millions of Indians remained glued to their TV sets, waiting with bated breath for India to make its historic landing on the moon. The country was so close to creating history, to becoming only the fourth nation in the world after the US, Russia and China to successfully land on the moon. However, over the next few minutes, the space dream got shattered. Vikram landed descent was as planned and the normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 km. Subsequently, the communication from lander to ground station was lost. The data is being analyzed. In the control room of the Indian Space Research Organization in Bengaluru, there were silence and muffled voices as scientists desperately tried to understand what went wrong and how. ISRO had lost contact with lander Vikram of Chandrayaan 2 barely minutes before its touchdown, expected touchdown on the lunar surface. And later it was found that the lander Vikram had actually crash landed on the moon near the South Pole where its soft landing was supposed to take place. All the joy, all the excitement now paved way for disappointment as millions watched the former ISRO chief Dr. K. Shivan walking out of the building with tears in his eyes. Cut to 2023, India is ready with Chandrayaan 3. The Indian Space Research Organization is all set to organize its third trip to the moon. On July 14th, exactly at 2.35 pm, ISRO's heaviest rocket, the GSLV Mark III, which is now known as LVM Mark III, will take off from Sriharikota near Andhra Pradesh with Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft and reach for the moon. So, what is the difference this time? Now, ISRO, this is basically a continuation of Chandrayaan 2, and uh, ISRO is determined to complete what it couldn't with the previous two missions. There are three main goals this time. First, to show the world that yes, we can do it, that we have the technology and the capability to attempt a soft landing on the moon, which is going to be very crucial for the future interplanetary missions. Second, to send a rover to the lunar surface and ensure that it moves on the surface. And third, to collect a lot of data and conduct a lot of experiments on the lunar surface. So this time, the space agency has cut down the cost of the entire mission, reducing it to about 650 crore. There is no orbiter, but there will be a lander and a rover and a propulsion module system. Now, this entire spacecraft is going to weigh about 3,900 kgs. So what is the plan? So once the rocket takes off from Sri Harikota on July 14th, it will uh, inject the spacecraft, Chandrayaan spacecraft, into an elliptical orbit around the Earth, where it's going to remain for some time. Over the next few days, scientists from Indian Space Research Organization are going to conduct a series of orbital maneuvers to raise the height of the orbit and move it closer and closer to the Moon until it reaches a place called the Lunar Transfer Trajectory, which will bring it closer to the, uh, closer to the Moon, which is its actual destination. So the entire propulsion system is going to remain as one integrated unit till it reaches the polar orbit around the moon which is exactly 100 kilometers from the surface of the moon. But we need to understand that it's going to take a lot of time, roughly about 45 days for the spacecraft to reach near the uh, lunar orbit. Uh, according to ISRO chief uh, uh, Mr. S. Somnath, uh, a likely date of landing could be around the last week of August. However, the date is yet to be announced. The space agency is not taking any chances this time. It has conducted experiments and demonstrations in simulated conditions a number of times. They have also added a number of sensors and a, uh, and a lander hazard detection system and cameras to ensure that the lander attempts a soft landing on the moon. 
Now, if you remember, there was some problem with Chandrayaan 2 lander when it was about to make its soft landing on the moon. There was a software glitch and some sensors which did not work, and the velocity increased suddenly within a very short period of time. However, this time, ISRO says that it's going to maintain a velocity of about 2 meters per second, the downward velocity where the lander is going to attempt its landing on the moon. So, why is the moon so important, and why is this mission so important? It is important because India has to complete what it had set out. To achieve in 2019 attempt a soft landing on moon which is going to be crucial for the interplanetary mission also it is significant because various countries across the world are planning their long-term presence on the moon the U.S. has announced its Artemis mission is going to take its astronauts to moon in the coming few years. Both Russia and China have also planned to set up a lunar base. There are a lot of hopes and expectations when ISRO uh, lifts off its rocket on July 14. The mission comes exactly 15 years after a country's first trip to the moon, which was also the first one to give evidence of presence of water on the lunar surface. With all the hopes up and the expectations up, we just uh, hope that ISRO is able to succeed in this mission and establish a soft landing on the lunar surface. Thank you so much for watching CNN News 18. Keep reading our stories on news18.com for more such updates.